Are you looking for a cool gaming mouse or a cool gaming keyboard or maybe a camera and you don't want to spend a lot of money? How about some cool software that also won't break the bank? Then you guys should be checking out EK Offers and right now they're having a sale with an additional 20% off. So get yourself that cool keyboard or cool mouse and pay under $30. We'll have a link down below. The first quarter of 2019 is almost coming to a close. One more little month and we'll be actually a quarter of the year into 2019. And so far, we've seen some definite changes in the industry. And today's video is why I'm gonna let you know there's absolutely no way that Nvidia could lose this year. No, before you go say, oh my God, you've been paying to say all this stuff, absolutely not. It's just the facts of the matter. Right now, Nvidia is totally dominating the entire gaming spectrum and they have even more cards coming out that I can't tell you about right now, but believe me, there is even more cards coming out all the way from the lower end all the way to the higher end, which means that Nvidia in 2019 is not going to be able to be touched. And I know some people out there are gonna say, well, Elric, you know, AMD is going to have these other cards and you know, and they're gonna absolutely blow Nvidia away. And I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen. Even with the Radeon 7, it's not going to be blowing anything out of the water i've said this before and as the years go by and especially 2019 goes by we're going to see more and more companies actually taking advantage of the dlss and the rtx technology now right now everybody knows that the top in line cards from nvidia just cost a fortune they're really expensive and we've talked about it a bunch of times it's like beating a dead horse they know rtx and dlss aren't really quite here so you know all right we know that you know and a lot of people are saying oh my god it's like the physics thing all all over again I'm not, I don't know it's a little bit different but the bottom line is even though Nvidia now came out with these you know strange new technologies of the ray tracing that nobody's really you know putting into all their games this technology will eventually catch on and for most people out there when they want the best they always turn to Nvidia. They don't turn to AMD. I've never once had a conversation with anybody ever in my life and they go, hey dude, I want to get the absolute best gaming system I get and I need it to be all AMD, bro. Like, you know, I need you to build me like an AMD system that blows away an Intel, you know, Nvidia system. I just haven't really seen that. Now, AMD has come quite a long way on the CPU side of things. And on the CPU side of things, I think it's very, very possible that they may catch up and they may pass Intel in 2019. But on the GPU side of things, things absolutely not it's just not going to be happening there's just too many other things going on over at amd some are going to say oh Elric, no way man no way no way but yes it's absolutely way bro totally way because amd right now is spread very thin i talked about this in another video if you guys want to check it out i'll also have a link down below where i talk about amd actually fighting on two fronts and how it's really hard to win a battle with any you know one enemy let alone two enemies when you're fighting two fronts and this also translates in today's video because saying this there's really no way in 2019 that they're going to be able to beat nvidia at any level we now see Nvidia releasing cards, and there's another card soon to be released that's gonna have Nvidia totally dominating all the way from entry level all the way to top of the line. And they're gonna dominate every spectrum of this, which means that pretty much as far as gaming goes, Nvidia is going to rule the roost. Now, yes, there's gonna be AMD cards out there. Hopefully more AMD cards come out this year, but they're not going to be able to compete at all, which means that for the entire year of 2019, we're not gonna really see any great advancements in the GPU division from AMD. It's going to be subpar, and it's gonna obviously be cheaper. And this is where, you know, AMD strengths always rely. You know, they sell stuff and it's usually at a lower price. $699 for the new Radeon 7, hmm, yeah, I don't know. They're probably gonna have to lower their prices. And here, check this out. So let's just say, we'll just say for the record that AMD does come out with something. They come out with something out of a magic out of their hat, they pull it out of a rabbit out of a hat, Woo! We've got magic, and all of a sudden they come out with a car. Well, all NVIDIA really would have to do at that point is take a deep breath, lower their prices a little bit, and then bam, they would be at the same prices, only performing faster. 
So it's really, really hard for AMD to compete in 2019 unless they're just always going to be shooting for the second tier and having a lower end, lower cost you know, card. For those people out there, there are many people out there. I don't know why they do this, but they always get involved in the business aspects of things. And pretty soon they're going to be looking, you know, at what cheese NVIDIA eats and, well, you know, what burgers the guys eat at AMD and making their decisions because your only decision when it comes to buying your video card should be what works the best for you. And most people out there, there are a few who are going to be saying, hey, no way, I like AMD. I feel that AMD just performs better. Um, they're entitled to their opinion, but when the numbers at the end of the day, when they hit the deck, you know that the NVIDIA cards are going to be a faster card. And if the RTX and DLSS stuff picks up and a lot more people out there in the gaming company start, you know, enveloping this technology and implementing it in the games, that's going to make a big difference. It will once again separate AMD from NVIDIA, not only at a pricing level, but at a technological level as well. I mean, let's just think about it. If there's all these games that start coming out and they support all this stuff and AMD doesn't support any of this type of technology and games do, Gamers are going to frown on AMD. They're going to be saying, hey, no, you know, I, I want, I want a, a, a game that supports all these great features. So I'm not only getting the best performance, but I'm getting the best visual as well. Now, I know that a lot of people feel that like the RTX stuff is really just shiny stuff. And one time when I was talking to a friend of mine at NVIDIA, like he said, well, hey, isn't really life about shiny stuff? And well, even though I agree a little bit with him, I disagree with him a little bit as well. I agree, the whole world's not shiny. Like I'm looking around my room right now and like, yeah, the monitor's shining, where the lights are hitting shining, cameraman, he's not shining, the light pole's not shining, my boxes aren't shining. So in essence, no, the whole world isn't more shiny. And when you walk into a game, just seeing everything in the whole street shining, everything, it really isn't that much of a technological jump for me, I'll be honest with you, because not everything does shine. The stuff that does shine, however, should actually shine. I think, there, I think there's somebody at my door because the dog is now giving us his defense, his warning. There is somebody here to see it. It's probably just the post lady, so I'm not even gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep rolling. All right, bud, come on. You've protected us enough, come on. But anyways, this is really it. I mean, I know that people out there are going to probably be like really angry. They'll probably get angry at the video and go rah, 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 rah. But the only thing that I ever look at when I do these videos are actually the raw numbers and how the people in the public intercept these numbers and do their purchases. And this is how it goes. When NVIDIA has the fastest performing cards, even though they are higher priced than AMD, people are still going to buy them. It's a proven fact. They sell them over and over again. It doesn't matter if you say, oh, their cards break down, their cards do this, they're still dominating the market. So no matter how much really dirt you kick over onto NVIDIA, it just seems like they just shake their head and keep moving down the road because they're just so far ahead. People really do not realize how far ahead NVIDIA is ahead of AMD. And I'm being honest with you right here. They are so far ahead, it's just mind boggling. They released all these cards, these 2060s, it's just a stop gap. There's nothing coming from AMD to compete with them. So when nothing comes from AMD to compete with them, why should they spend a bunch of money on R&D and waste money doing more technology where they can go on vacation or buy more stuff or buy other companies? And isn't it also really a strange thing that Lisa, Hmm. who runs AMD is actually the niece of Jensen from NVIDIA. Kind of a strange thing there, right? I don't know. In the future, I hope that AMD can make some changes, but in 2019, there's no way that NVIDIA is going to be touched by them. Looking at the market trends, looking at the releases that NVIDIA has planned, and knowing that NVIDIA isn't even really breaking out their big guns, just shows that there's absolutely no way that AMD is going to compete on the GPU side of things in 2019. Will AMD have some cards that come out? Cool. Will they probably be cool for some part of the market? Yeah, they probably will be. But for the mainstream market, it's going to be Nvidia and things could get a lot worse. Like I said, if more people start implementing into their games the RTX and the DLS technology, more people are going to want to jump on the Nvidia bandwagon. And all this is going to do is just keep separating things, separating things, separating things until AMD and Nvidia are really far apart. There have been a lot of times in the past where AMD's jumped ahead, a lot of times where they're pretty much nose and nose, but in 2019, AMD is being shuffled over 
NVIDIA is way ahead of them in 2019, and I don't see anything changing whatsoever. If you're interested in checking out the latest cards, if you really don't know anything about them, I'll have some link down below to some stuff at Amazon if you want to check out what, what all these new NVIDIA cards are about. You can do that. Um, I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech and Morrow. Like always, I want to hear your comments. I know you guys always have a lot to say. Try to keep it cool. There's no reason to get a big heated battle over anything. But honestly, I feel that in 2019, and I think the market is going to agree with me as we see things, AMD doesn't have a chance in the GPU market. But let's hear what you have to say. I love you guys. Peace out. Um, if you're not subbed, hey, make sure you're subbed. Otherwise, we can't see you back here. And if you don't have notification turned on, well, then you won't know what's going on. Notifications let you know what videos are coming out. If you happen to like the music inside of our videos, we'll have links down below where you can check out some of the music, including the Benchmark song. And if you really like the channel, for $2 a month, you can support us on Patreon. Peace. Love you.